Hey there everybody, it's Rush from Pathless Pedaled, and today I'm gonna to answer a viewer question from someone who wanted to know how we put together our bicycle handlebar base rig for single hand gimbals. So let's jump right in. Recently we picked up a Beholder EC1, a single hand gimbal for our video shooting. And as much as I conceptually wanted the single handness of the gimbal to work. Uh, what we found in practice is that the footage is way more stable and usable if we use a dual hand rig. So this is how we assembled our dual hand rig on the cheap, just using a bicycle handlebar and some other bits of gear that we already had and how you can do it too. So the first step is finding some handlebars. Here in Portland, we're fortunate enough to have lots of places that sell used bike gear. So I walked into City Bikes and found this uh, Bella Orange kind of portour slash city bike handlebar. And when you're looking for a handlebar for this kind of project, you want to find something that's flat here and something that has fairly flat grips for when you're actually flying the gimbal. Drop bar handlebars probably won't work just because there won't be enough of a flat ramp for you to actually hold on and, and kind of fly the gimbal. So the next piece of equipment that you'll need and that you might already have is some kind of clamp. Um, so this is a clamp I've had around for a number of years and I use this usually in conjunction with a magic arm uh, to either mount like a GoPro, another camera, or a light. This one happens to be made by Manfrotto, but there are other brands that make similar items like this. And essentially it's a clamp and you can adjust the tension of the clamping force. And on this side, there's a little place for a stud to put in an arm or uh, in this case, we're going to put on a quick release plate, so clamp. And simply the clamp just goes here in the middle of the handbar. And you really want to clamp it down there because um, once you have the gimbal on there with the camera, there's enough weight that it'll actually rotate on um, the handlebar. You'll probably have to apply enough clamping force that you won't ever want to ride with these handlebars again. Take note. The next step is to find a quick release plate. So this one's made by Manfredo. It's made for their 577 plates. And I've attached it to a stud here that then mounts onto uh, the clamp that we just put on. And this is essentially it. After this, you take the Manfredo plate and put it on the base of your gimbal and just slide the whole mechanism onto here. I have added one other piece and that is uh, this guy over here. This is actually a quad lock. I put it here on the handlebars and with the Panasonic system, I can actually control the camera wirelessly through my phone while it's flying on the gimbal. And it's easier to just kind of tap on the phone uh, than to monkey around with the lens. So that's it for bicycle handlebar gimbal rig. It's pretty simple. If you have these parts lying around, then you can do it virtually for free. Um, of course, there's other options that you can purchase. So if you have any questions about this setup, um, I'm gonna put specific links to these bits and bobbins in the description below. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like or a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching.